At the Clarendon Academy, Wiltshire, we have been undertaking work towards our Mark Plan Teach model of classroom practice. In this video, we will be looking at elements of our marking policy with a particular focus on the use of our new purple pen strategy. As Phil Beadle in his seminal book, How to Teach, makes clear, marking is the most important thing you do as a teacher. All the other stuff is of no use whatsoever if you don't mark your books properly. You can be endlessly enthusiastic, have great subject knowledge, manage behaviour wonderfully, teach fantastic lessons at a cracking pace, and it will all be to naught if you don't mark their books. They won't progress. As Ross Morrison McGill, otherwise known as the Teacher Toolkit, states, marking has two purposes. One, students act on feedback and make progress over time. Two, it informs future planning and teaching. We all know the importance of marking and its effectiveness, but what can this look like in the classroom and how can we develop student responses to feedback to aid their progress over time? One such example of student responses to feedback is using assessment for learning strategies to share success criteria with students in advance of completing a question, allowing them to model their own success. In this example, a complicated mark scheme provided by an exam board was turned into a student-friendly checklist, ensuring that all elements of a top-grade answer were present in this newly created mark scheme format. Students were then asked to draft their response, using a purple pen to check off each target, writing an EBI at the end of their work before completing their final draft. Their final draft was then completed, with students themselves ensuring that all targets had been met before the teacher checked the answer to ensure that the desired progress had taken place through student responses to the mark scheme. In this second example, students were asked to read through feedback given to them by their teacher after completing a number of exam questions. They were then tasked with picking out and setting their own key targets for their next exam question. When a similar exam question was completed in class, students wrote out their previous targets at the beginning of their new piece of work and were asked to constantly refer back to this throughout their new piece of writing to ensure they learned from previous errors. The teacher was then able to check that progress had been made, ensuring that the new skills were embedded. In this third example, students were asked to peer mark answers using purple pens to pinpoint parts of their answer where they have met certain marking criteria. This was followed by a now task at the end of their writing once the teacher had checked the peer marking for accuracy. A fourth strategy can be used if the teacher carries a number of purple pens with them whilst monitoring the work of the class. As the teacher walks around the classroom, they can check on students' work as they write it, spotting misconceptions or inaccurate use of key terms. In this example, a teacher instructed a student to change a part of their answer with the student writing in the changes suggested by the teacher using the purple pen. Used correctly, now tasks are a really useful way for students to show progress over time. In these examples, a number of tasks were given to a student to complete in their subsequent lesson to allow for immediate impact. The student was able to complete these tasks to improve their work, with the teacher ensuring that accurate progress had been made once the work was remarked. In this second example of using now tasks, a particular aspect of the mark scheme was targeted by the teacher, with students required to add in specific improvements relevant to their individual targets as a learner. In this case, adding specific key terms and statistics to their answer. A final use for the purple pens can be found in the need to develop language for learning strategies. In this example, a teacher has set targets for students to locate and write out the correct spellings of key words taken from their marked piece of work. Many of these examples can be used across a variety of subjects, from developing a more accurate scientific hypothesis to noting down the changes made to an artwork following a verbal intervention by a member of staff. I hope you found these ideas useful for developing strategies to develop student responses to feedback using the purple pens. For further ideas covering the Mark Plan Teach model, please visit the Mark Plan Teach folder on your desktop. Thank you for watching.